Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial video we will transform movement attack animation into in-place attack animation with use of Animation Designer. We will use here some animation of the Cubolt's Sword and Shield package which is linked in the description and this is what we will transform this animation to. Right, let's get to work. So here we have model of a dummy. So we open Animation Designer by right mouse button on the animator, open in Animation Designer, let's dock the window and let's prepare Armature. Now let's select animation we want to work on and let's go with this animation which looks like this. And first thing we want to do is making this animation stay in place. So we go to the additional settings and we hit reset root position, disable root motion export and let's also disable root motion on the main model. Also let me move it a bit higher to make foot on ground. Now when we hit play it looks like this and first thing we want to do is keeping the legs in place. So let's go to the inverse kinematics, left leg, let's enable the inverse kinematics algorithm and let's make the IK position to be still in one position and this button will read position on the preview we see and apply to the still position. Now when we hit play you see the legs stay in place in the one position but the rotation goes crazy so let's also do the same for the rotation and let's do the same for the right leg and hit the buttons and also what we want to fix here is this moment when the leg goes too stretched and to fix this we can use this max leg stretch slider let's go a bit lower now the leg will be rise in this moment but it aut automatically gives nice effect to the animation so we will keep it like this and this moment must be fixed with a modificator for the hips rotation. We'll do it in a while. Now let's disable the shield model because without it everything will be just more clear for us to watch. And now let's go to the modificators. Let's add modificator for the hips. Use additive rotation and rotate it to the point we want, we want it to be so it will just look better. All right, 50 will be enough and we want this correction to be applied only in this moment of a animation clip. We don't want it to be like here and in the end we want it to be like this in the end and in the beginning. So to do this we go to the position in the clip we want to apply this rotation fully so it will be, let's disable actually this modificator to identify the moment and it will be somewhere in here. Now it can be hard to define position in the curve window to be in the same time as we see in the animation preview. But for this we have a keys shortcut which is left alt holding and clicking left mouse button on this view. Now we have keyframe in this position of our preview. So we want this correction to be applied somehow like this and you see there is zero so here is correction amount multiplied by zero so there is no correction applied then it transitions to the our correction and it now it looks like this. And also you see here we have to apply additional hips correction but it will be additive position and we need to move the character like this because this is animation of character moving and the hips going like you see in the original animation far 
away from the center and we need to just to correct this slightly and let's find the best pose for this correction oh not like this yeah and again left alt mouse button here's our desired correction time on the clip let's animate this and that's what we get but it seems we must make this correction be applied for a longer time maybe still a bit longer let's do it like this maybe all right and how it looks in a full animation preview and it looks nice already but I would like to make this moment like this first hit to go with swing a bit more to the left like in the original animation because as you see it goes to the left let's try do it with some modificator which will be spine because we removed the rotation from the hips let's move the same rotation to the spine so in the original clip it looks like this in this moment so let's try to fit this so it will be probably something like this yeah all right i think it's close enough again left alt button and let's apply it as we want it and let's see if it's what we want let's play well it's better but i would like to add even more and there is some quick trick which is clicking this button make you allow to rotate child bone of this bone which you are modifying which means we will also rotate the upper chest bone with these values here and thanks to that we will add some additional swing effect to the whole motion I think something like this will be nice again left alt and we have keyframe here and let's fade it maybe something like this and let's see if that works as we want it hmm it's applied here it it is we don't want this to be applied here since the pose looks a bit weird and let's see it still lacks something let's try maybe go a bit more like this how it looks now hmm, maybe fade a bit longer all right all right as something extra we can also add some crouch in this moment to get more force to the attack so let's go with uh, IK main and hips IK settings and let's go a bit lower with the uh, hips in this moment of a clip so I added the key and probably something like this will be pretty nice all right okay and you see you can play even a bit more with this but that's it for this tutorial video now let's export it and in the preview you can see that the legs are moving a lot in the preview 
But that's issue of the humanoid retargeting. When you drag and drop the model on which you were working, it will work much better. So Animation Designer gives you possibility to export more precise humanoid animation just for your characters of your game. Alright, that's all for this tutorial video. I hope you get some idea how you can work with the Animation Designer to design your animations. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to see more. Hit bell for notifications about new videos and see you next time. Bye bye.